Thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service Office in San Diego. In this video briefing we're going to talk about the Santa Ana winds expected for October 10th through 11th and with that the high fire danger. What is a Santa Ana wind? Basically it's a cold dome of high pressure or more dense air. It comes behind a storm system that typically moves across the northern Rockies or the Great Basin. We end up on the dry side of that storm system and the winds blow always from high pressure to low pressure so they're forced to blow towards Southern California. When they meet up with the mountains of Southern California they cannot go through the mountains so they're enhanced as they go between and up and over and around those mountains. And that is why some of the corridors of Southern California are very prone to these high winds. So it's basically high pressure over the Great Basin or cold air. What's happened over the past few months? Our summer monsoon was rather weak or dry across most of the southwest as shown here. The yellow areas depict that our mountains and deserts were largely below normal for monsoon moisture. That resulted in fuel moistures that were near record low as we were in August and early September. Some recent rainfall has helped that, but we're now dropping rapidly. And as common situation with Santa Ana winds, fuel moistures can dry out repeatedly quick following these dry Santa Ana winds. What are the concerns and where are the concerns? So the fire weather hazards or the fire weather watch and warning message is in the shaded area here on this map. That includes much of Orange County all the way to the coast. That includes the Cajon Pass and the coastal slopes of the San Bernardino Mountains. It also includes the coastal slopes of the Riverside and San Diego Mountains as shown here. And that brings you all the way down to the I-15 and I-215 corridor. So as shown here, the extent of the Santa Ana winds bringing the low humidity and most importantly the stronger winds are all in the shaded area shown in this map. Those are the areas most susceptible to those offshore flow or Santa Ana winds. And that's where the fire danger will be most extreme and critical. What kind of winds are we expecting with this particular Santa Ana wind? Well, it looks like the most wind prone areas that we talked about, such as the Cajon Pass, all the way down to Ontario, down through Highway 91 into Irvine, those areas will see the winds the strongest. Well, we could see gusts exceeding 50, even exceeding 60 miles per hour in those bright shaded areas. Now, elsewhere, the winds won't be as strong, but still windy across Beaumont and Banning where we could see wind gusts over 50 miles per hour. Even in the San Diego mountains winds could get up just over 50 miles per hour in those lighter shaded areas. Do note that there are pockets because of the wind coming from the northeast that will see much lighter winds and you may live in some of those areas such as Huntington Beach or the LA area or perhaps Oceanside but be sure to understand that those winds can be much stronger outside of those areas as shown in this map. Winds across the high deserts will be strong too, at least in the breezy category, especially Wednesday night and Thursday. In our lower deserts, winds similar, where we still will see gusts 25-30 miles per hour. Winds are expected to be strongest Wednesday night and Thursday. Humidity. In this event, humidity looks to be critically low and unusually low with single digit values on Thursday. There'll be very little recovery to humidity at night as well. So developing Wednesday night and especially on Thursday, we'll see those humidity values plummeting. And it makes it all the way to near the coast on Thursday. All right, this will be a cool Santa Ana wind initially so our mountain locations will struggle to get out of the 40s and 50s. And our inland valleys struggle to get out of the low to mid 70s. You'll have to go all the way to the immediate coast before you get close to 80 degree temperatures on Thursday. So opposite of what you normally see on an average day, and that's what a Santa Ana wind is. 
What about on Friday? Looks like those winds will continue. Uh, the same critical areas, the home pass, the highway 91 quarter. Probably see a pickup in winds across Beaumont Banning and the highway 60 pass. And also even stronger winds for San Diego County. So those areas will see the stronger winds Thursday night and Friday morning. And that's depicted here where we can see gusts over 60 miles per hour. Also note some of those stronger winds making it all the way down to the inland valleys of I-15 in San Diego County, which includes Poway and Escondido. And also still some critical winds blowing on Friday all the way down to the I-5 corridor, which takes you into Irvine in Orange County. Less winds in our desert areas as those winds slacken off on Friday. Humidity probably will be the lowest on Friday. We should see widespread humidities almost to the coast in the single digit values. Look at 8% Escondido. 7% Alpine. Critical conditions, Anaheim, 8%. Desert-like humidity all the way to the coast. And that's what a Santa Ana wind ends up doing. We will not see much recovery even Friday night with the humidity. All right, also want to note that the temperatures, because of this dry air mast and the winds becoming much lighter Friday night and Saturday morning, will be quite cool. These temperatures are probably not even low enough, but temperatures will be widespread 20s and 30s in our mountains and even our inland valleys dropping into the 40s. Check out places like Oceanside and Lake Elsinore. They could see some of the coldest temperatures for sure of the year and even unusually cold for the month of October. Here's the summary of the Santa Ana wind event. This is the first significant one. Not the first Santa Ana win, but the first significant event. And this is going to start Wednesday evening and roll right through Friday night. We're going to look at this as being a moderate Santa Ana win, which means our wind prone areas 50 to 70 miles per hour. Our non wind prone areas even reaching 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts on Thursday and on Friday. Humidity values critically low. They're going to start bottoming out and dropping Wednesday night, we'll see low values on Thursday with the lowest on Friday, single digits widespread. This is a cool Santa Ana wind initially on Thursday, but warming up quickly, first on the coast and then spreading to the inland valleys on Friday and Saturday. Cold morning lows on Friday in wind sheltered areas, but the most cold and most widespread for the weekend. And that includes the inland mountain and valleys, as well as the deserts. Make sure you get updates by checking in at weather.gov. You can monitor the weather conditions in real time, the wind and humidity. All the available weather stations are plotted on that map there. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for uh, real-time updates. And, of course, these recordings are kept on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and be safe with these critical fire weather conditions unfolding Wednesday night all the way through Friday night with very dry conditions and uh, widespread Santa Ana winds.